Hey, how are you? John from Dowie Farm. I'm just uh, doing a quick tutorial here on uh, sunflowers um, and how to plant them and whatnot. So, uh, first thing I've done here is um, I've soaked my sunflower seeds for six hours. I use a black oil sunflower seed that has no striping or anything like that. They're 100% black uh, oil sunflower seeds. You don't want anything with the gray stripes because they taste a little funky. Now, um, sometimes you do this for fodder seed and that doesn't matter any longer because you're not going to eat it. So what I uh, would look to do with fodder seed is buy just bird seed from the farmer's market or yeah right from the uh, feed store and then if you want to use these for microgreens for sale um, you can definitely just buy good sunflower seed from Mums or Johnny's or Mountain Valley or something like that. Um, I do suggest getting a uh, organic one I guess for that because <clears throat> the price cut isn't that, that different. Um, but it is perfectly safe to eat the bird seed, sunflower seed. Um, I just wouldn't feel right selling it to a restaurant. Anyway, so let's move on. So the first thing we're going to do here, let me set this down. I kind of want to get a good angle here. Actually, let's do this. So like I said, I have a six hour soak. Let me try to shorten this tripod up, put it up on the thing. Yeah. Let me pause. Cool. All right, you get a good shot here now. I've got uh, I've got three of these. I soak three uh, things of sunflower seed. Now, these things are, like I said, black oil sunflower. Six hours soak. I don't sanitize if they're nice and clean looking. And if I'm not having a problem with the batch, I don't sanitize. If I do start having an issue with the batch of seeds, I will sanitize with some peroxide. Uh, but otherwise, I don't sanitize at all. Um, so we have our black oil sunflower. Six hours soak. And, um, oh, sorry, real quick. When I do the bird seed sunflower for fodder, I will absolutely sanitize because those things do come dirty and you'll get mold. Um, those are a batch from Mums. And they're growing wonderfully, just so you know. Um, and six hours so, and then strain them. Um, six hours so, strain, rinse well. Okay, and you'll see the water coming out will be dark. Um, I, I tried to film that, but you don't really get to see it in the, in the camera. Um, and then as the water runs clear, you're good to go. I just plant them right straight away, nice and nice and wet. All right. Um, man, I was going to say something else, but it went away. <laughs> so I got my soil here that I've soaked or that I've uh, mixed. All right. Let's say the wrong words over and over. Here we go. All right. And I'm going to just put the soil in the scoop of soil. Now I'm, I'm using... One of the different things I do with my sunflower is I use the deep flaps for this, the standard trays they're called, uh, but they're the two and a half inch flats uh, as opposed to the short flats. And uh, for sturdiness, I double them up, so I use two. And these do have holes in them, uh, as all as do all my all my flats. Um, so it takes a little more soil, and this is a lot of perlite. I'm doing about 70% perlite, and part of the reason I'm doing that is because of the uh, the way that I run my system with my watering is I automate my watering to uh, fill in flood tables and I don't I don't want this to hold too much water I need aeration in the soil so sometimes it gives me a little bit of a margin of error with the fill in flood tables what it does <clears throat> so anyway here we go I got enough dirt in there anyway what this is going to do is it won't make it'll create a lot of air pockets in the soil and it won't make it so that it uh it gets you know too wet for the seeds but one of the reasons I do the big trays is because I need these sunflowers to not have to go under the under the, the tables this quick and um, I need them to uh, I need them to hold water the sunflowers are like a water suck between uh, sunflowers and radish they just suck up tons and tons of water so uh, they have a tendency to dry out a lot faster than some of the other micros do. Now it's not super important that I get this completely full because there's already a lot of soil, but you know the more soil in here, the more water it's going to hold longer. Uh, but I also, you know, I just want more capacity for water, but I don't want more actual like you know water in the soil. If that makes any sense. Like I, I need a I need a bigger battery, not a battery that holds more power. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, all right, so. 
now that I've got my perlite in, or my soil in there, I'm just going to hit it with a quick spray on the top to kind of glue down that perlite, because if I don't, it'll all just rise to the top. Then I'm going to go nuts here, and I'm going to soak the crap out of this, because I'm not worried about anaerobic soil as much, because I have so much perlite, first of all, and secondly, because in germination phase, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it, it matters, but it's not going to be an issue. Obviously, you wouldn't want it this wet if you were, you know, if you were like later on in the stages here, and you wouldn't want to like choke out the roots if my thing's plugged. Through. All right, so I'm just going to really, really, really wet these down. Now, so what I'm trying to do here is just get it so that I can like ignore these for a day or two after they're going. Um, and not have to worry about them running out of water. And uh, the other reason I went to the large flats was I just frankly ran a trial, and they like the area uh, for root development, it seems, the sunflowers do, because they grow right through the bottom of the shallow trays. So these things, uh, you know, they get a little extra space for the root development, and I did get a significant amount for a significantly better yield out of uh, the deep flats that I did with the shallow flats, just really with sunflower, trying on other stuff, seeing no difference. But with the sunflower, I got a huge difference. Um, this is how I get, this was like the final step in how I get two pounds to a flat of the sunflower. Um, oh, I remember what I was gonna say before. My seeds, I have five and a half ounces per flat with this batch. Um, anywhere between five and six is usually where we're gonna end up. You gotta kinda feel it out with every new lot number you get, though. Because some can handle being really packed in and some can't. Five and a half is in the mid range. Um, I've gone as low as five. I've gone as high as six and a half, but not for long. I just uh, I ended up back down at five and a half. Alright? So, there we go. We're gonna get these things on there. I'm gonna try my best to spread them while I put them on. Alright. Stick in there and get them on. Okay, cool. I'll put my hand here to make sure they don't fall off. But it's also just kind of mental. Now, I'm not getting it perfectly spread out because they're wet and they're, it's not going to work that way. But now I'm just going to take my hand and I'm just going to kind of brush them around and make sure that I get them pretty evenly spread around. Now, I just soak and plant right away. Could you're like, I don't know, you put them off for a day, you soak, and then you put them off by accident, it's fine. I wouldn't go any longer than like 18 hours to, to a day because they will start to grow wicked fast, okay? And uh, once they start going, germinating, you'll, like, you'll see, they'll grow like crazy. And uh, if you don't get them planted and they germinate too much, you'll get a lot of rot and you'll lose a lot of crop for that and it just kind of sucks. So there is like a little sweet spot and let them germinate, but I don't bother. Like, you know, it's probably like 12 hours after or something when they start to uh, start to peek out of the shells, you know? But it's just not worth it. But just so you know, you can, if you screw up, you can do it, you know? So, not a big deal. This was a little on the light end, I feel like, with the five and a half, actually. Maybe I've been going six, but you get the point. You gotta just kind of adjust and go with it. All right, so I've got my seeds down. I've got my wet soil, I've got my seeds down. I'm gonna spray this pretty liberally again. Just to get soil to seed contact is all we're doing here. All right, and you'll wa you'll look at them. It's kind of fun to watch, but it's obviously sunflower seeds are oily, right? And uh, here we go. You'll watch the water just run right off the seeds. So, you know, anyway, there we go. Nice and wet. We got the soil contact going. Now, we need paper towels. So I use these brown paper towels that you've seen in other videos, I'm sure. Uh, but these are a brown paper towel that are the natural, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I think they're 10 inches wide. It doesn't really matter. But they're just, they're not a regular paper towel like you would use in your house. If that's, uh, so that's the important part. They're just the clear brown ones that are, or thin brown ones, sorry, that are, uh, pretty biodegradable, if I can separate it. Now what this is doing, is it's gonna keep our seeds from drying out. Oh, I gotta turn that fan off. All right, there we go. It's gonna keep our seeds from drying out, and it is going to 
kind of simulate a, a thin layer of soil and it's going to help uh, get these seeds to germinate and then also because I'm going to stack something another flat on top of these it uh, keeps the seeds from sticking to that tray that's on top of it. So uh, one of the things we would do next here is we got paper towels on, let's wet them down so they don't like blow away. Uh, you don't have to re-wet, some instructionals will tell you to spray this every day or whatever. I'm going to plant something else on top of these and then I'm, I'm never, I'm not going to touch them until they start to really come up and germinate, okay? Um, if you don't want, if you're not going to plant something else on top of these, you do got to get some weight on them and that's important. Now you could, if you were just going to do sunflowers or anything, you could just stack these three on top of each other and then put another tray on top of that and fill that tray with dirt and wet it down and just leave it and you, you should be fine. Um, what I'm going to do here with this is I'm going to end up with, oh, what do I need to plant? I need to plant some, some shiso, but I'm going to put a shiso tray on this, okay? And um, I'm going to plant that on top of it. And then that shiso will get a dome like this here, okay? Which is just, that's an arugula tray that's actually ready to come out. Um, and that one is not a stacker. That is a topper. That's our terminology around here, where sunflower is a stacker and arugula is a topper. So I would plant a topper on top of this and then go from there. And uh, you could go two or three high with it if you want. I don't really recommend going any more than three ever. Uh, I usually just go one, maybe two. Um, so after about three days, you're going to see these lift up about an inch, and that's when you want to take these the topper off. Okay, wh whichever you're doing with it, a topper whatever top you have on it, take it off. And then you're gonna dome it again, like I have, uh, like you just saw with that arugula, you're gonna have that dome on it, okay? So take off the topper, put the dome over it until it gets some height. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna lift that dome up after a day or two of height. Then you're gonna go to lights. And you really only need about two days under lights with sunflower. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get to here, okay? So these are planted on August 28th, today is September 3rd. So these are at five days and they're already this tall. And if I were doing these for fodder, I would let them go a little longer. Uh, doing them for, for microgreens, they're already touching my lights. I'm actually going to have to move these because this is not a good shelf for them. This is the way the lights are. But, um, oops, sorry. Uh, they're going to be ready to cut tomorrow on Tuesday. And that's my plan is a one-week grow out because they were planted on a Tuesday. So, cool, man. Or maybe they're a Wednesday. Whatever. I don't know. It's been hot, so they grow fast. They grow real fast when it's hot. You can really crank these things out in probably six days, really, if you wanted to when they're hot. Um, going for fodder, you can go a little longer with them, so you get a little more volume out of it, but you're, it is what it is. Um, that is it. If you're selling these things for sale, you want to leave that dome on them and let them get nice and tall because that's what removes a lot of your seed holes because they, as they get bigger, obviously, the seed holes fall off. So, um, and then you go to lights. And like, like I said, you know, you're at a three day germination, a two day dome, and a two days under lights, and you're good to go. So that's it, man. And then uh, that's sunflowers. I think that's everything. <laughs> you have any questions, let me know. John from Dowie Farm, thank you very much.